Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books and I'm here today to bring you my October birthday slash book hauls. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all of the things that I bought in the month of October as well as a few of the things that I got for my birthday. Some bookish related things and some non-bookish related things. Anyway, let's jump right in. So let's start with some non-bookish things first. My mother-in-law bought me for my birthday a set of Minnie and Mickey jack-o'-lanterns that light up and plug into the wall. They are so adorable, but I did not feel like taking them off my shelves. I will try to insert a picture here if I can find one or take one. I think I have one actually already, so I will do that. They are so adorable. Also, she bought me this pumpkin tea light candle holder, and I love this. It came with like apple spice tea light candles. It's just amazing, and this looks really great on my shelf with the rest of my fall collection. My mom went out and got me a Kohl's gift card. I love Kohl's. I shop there all the time. And I bought myself a pair of black fuzzy, like cozy winter boots. I didn't really have any that fit me well. I had a gray pair, but they just were a little too big. And I used them all last year, but I was like, I really want a pair that fit. And these ones fit like a glove. So I got those, but I don't want to drag them out because they're, they've already been worn and they don't look special <laughs> right now. Um, but I had coupons and stuff. And I had to spend a certain amount. So I bought a few things for the kids as well because I'm a mom and that's what you do when you go out shopping. You don't always spend the money on yourself. You have to spend it on other people. More times than not, I spend it on other people and not myself. But I did end up throwing in these adorable turkey salt and pepper shakers. I love salt and pepper shakers. I collect them and these will just be a fun addition because I didn't have turkeys. I have foxes and pumpkins, but I did not have turkeys for fall. My best friend went out and bought me a Pop Funko and this is Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. We went and saw Guardians of the Galaxy 2 together and we just really love it and we're always kind of like quoting it and, and saying things back and forth and sending gifts back and forth to each other. So I love this and I love the fact that he is a bobblehead. Oh, my mom also got me, I forgot to say because I set him up here. My mom also got me this cute little Jim Shore snowman. I love snowmen, I collect them as well. And they stay out in my house from December until February. So he will be on my shelf for quite a long time since he's gonna be there from October and November as well. My best friend also got me something a little personal and that was this cute pad of personalized paper. It says besties and it has a picture of us at the top. It is so cute and adorable that I'm almost afraid to use it. I know that I should because that's why she bought it, but it's just so cute and it's got our picture. Like I'm almost, I'm almost terrified to use it, but I think I'll just use it to send notes back and forth to her because we actually mail each other stuff quite often. So that'll, that's probably what this will be used for. And then she bought me a collection of Disney CDs. I love Disney. I'm a Disney fanatic. So is my whole family. So anytime we can get our hands on Disney stuff, it's a great day. So she got me the Now Disney collection. I have Now Disney, Now Disney 2, and Now Disney 3. And I've really enjoyed these. I've had, I do listen to like Disney Pandora. Um, so I've heard many of these songs. Of course, I've watched all the movies, so I've heard these songs a lot of the times. But there's some songs on here, uh, especially on the third collection, that I didn't hear before. Or there's songs that they've kind of done a different way. It's not the usual way that you hear them. So these are really fun. The kids and I have listened to them already in the car, and we will continue to listen to them probably forever until they get away, like do away with CDs in general. So then my kids got me a Disney collection of movies as well. I own a ton of Disney movies. I don't know if I've ever shared that collection with you guys. I don't think that I have, but I probably have somewhere over 100 Disney movies right now. So it was quite a surprise when I looked at my shelves this past year and I was like, I don't own these movies. And I told my kids, oh, I don't own them. That's why I record them on TV every year. So they went out and bought me the whole set. And that's Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2, which is a fall favorite of ours. We have to watch it. It does not feel like fall unless we are watching Halloween Town. They also got me Halloween Town High. And then the fourth one, which is <laughs> Return to Halloween Town. They switched out the main character in this movie. So it is not my personal favorite, but it's still entertaining and the kids like it. So we will watch it. So I think that's all of the non-bookish related things. I can't think of anything else that I got besides some clothing. So I think we are safe to move into the bookish part of this, of this haul. 
I have a few things that aren't actually books, but they are book related. My best friend got me this sign. It says, reading gives us some place to go when we have to stay where we are. I love that saying because it is so true. Especially growing up, I, I wasn't allowed to do a lot of things as a kid. I wasn't allowed to go a lot of places. So reading really was an escape for me. So this saying is so perfect. And this next sign is also a saying about reading. And it is also perfect because <laughs> this is how I feel many, many times a day, a week, a month, a year, it says go away, I'm reading. I point to this now when the kids are trying to talk to me and they kind of give me a little, you know, like eye roll and like, oh mom, but sometimes it's true. Sometimes I'm just joking, but sometimes it's true. Sometimes I just want to finish my page. Let me just finish the chapter that I'm on. Um, and then the last few bookish related things besides actual books are a few bookmarks that I received. My best friend bought me this one, which is, I think, absolutely beautiful. It's a peacock, and it says, Hope is the thing with feathers, which is a quote from, from Emily Dickinson. And then she also bought me this one. It has to do with the beach. I love the beach. I love the ocean, so this is perfect for me. And I put this into any book that I feel like is an escape from the current season. So like now that we're moving into fall and winter, if I read anything with a summer theme, it will get this bookmark. And then my husband and kids got me probably one of the cutest bookmarks of all time. And that is this one, it says curl up with a good book and it has a little hedgehog. It's so adorable. I love it so much. Um, so I now have amassed quite a good bookmark collection as well. So that wraps up all the things that I got that weren't actually books, but some of them related to books. So now let's move into my actual book haul for the month of October. I don't have a ton of books, but I have a couple. Um, one of them was a birthday gift from my husband and children. They saw it on my Amazon wish list, and I put this on my Amazon wish list only because I like the cover. I saw it on someone else's video. I don't know what the book's about. And even some of the people that have read it that I've watched the reviews, they said it was just okay for them. But I really wanted it because it's so pretty. And that is Home Fire by Camilla Shaz Shamsi. I wanna say it is. It's just so pretty. It's beautiful. The colors are so rich and vibrant. And it's gonna look really pretty on my shelves. Hopefully I like it because it would be really sad if they bought it and I didn't like it. Then I have a book that my husband and kids also bought me, but it is a replacement for another Stephen King book. You guys know that I'm normally trying to replace my mass market paperback size Stephen King's. I hate mass market paperback size. I want to get rid of them all. This isn't that. I actually am getting rid of a hardcover. I know. It doesn't make sense to me either until you see this cover. And that's The Dead Zone. I am just not a fan of this cover at all. I don't like this graphic. I don't understand it. It's not for me. So I ended up putting this on my Amazon wish list, and that was The Dead Zone. And it is this beautiful bright blue color and I have a few other books in the same edition that it can sit with on my shelves and it'll just look really good. Um, so I'm excited to put this one on there. So yes, I'm actually getting rid of a Stephen King hardcover. I don't know, I had to do it. Then I went to my local thrift store and I picked up a few Roald Dahl books that I never had, I never read, know nothing about them. The first of them being SEO Trot, The Giraffe and the Pelly and Me, <laughs> The Twits, and George's Marvelous Medicine. I've never read any of these. I've read the BFG and Matilda and um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, but I had never read these ones. So it'll be interesting to see how I like them. My youngest daughter, Brooke, is actually in this age range for these books, so she will probably read them if I don't end up liking them. So I don't feel bad about getting them. Then I bought a brand new book this month. It was a pre-order. I ordered it back in July and it came. I was excited until I started to see the reviews and a lot of people, a lot of people aren't liking it. So now I'm a little hesitant to read it, but I bought it, so 
what am I going to do? And that's Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I am of the half of people that like John Green's writing. I really do like it. I really loved Looking for Alaska and I love The Fault in Our Stars. Um, his other ones, Paper Towns, was just okay to me and An Abundance of Catherines, I could not even stand. I couldn't get through it. So I'm interested to see where I land once I read this, but I had to pick it up and it is a signed copy. I was really excited for that. If I end up not liking this, you guys, I will probably do this as a giveaway um, just because I don't keep books that I don't really like. So, and I'm not like a huge fan of the cover that I would want to keep it just because of the cover either. And then this month I also received a package from Lisa. She is my friend here on booktube. Her channel name is Lycan Books. I will leave her link down below. If you guys have not checked out her channel, please go and do so because you're really missing out. She's just not only a sweet person, but she reads a wide variety of books and there's always books on her channel that she mentions that I have never heard of and they sound really good and if she likes them I know that I will like them so I immediately add them to my TBR my want to read anyway and she saw that I wanted to replace some of my Stephen King books and she said hey I have a few would you like them and I was like sure like it just was so surprising and sweet and touching so she ended up sending me a few books she also sent this cute, adorable little note. Had a little owl at the top reading a book, which was really a sweet touch. Um, let me just grab my books here so I can show you. So I'm trying to get rid of my mass market paperback size. So I have this mass market paperback. It's Blaze. It says Richard Bachman. That was Stephen King. It was a pen name for him. I read this. I enjoyed it. Um, I This is one of those mass markets that is a little bit bigger than the usual mass market. Um, but not big enough to be a trade paperback. So I didn't hate it. The cover was okay, but she had a hardcover of it. And this looks like it was a library edition, which I will just take off the library jacket, but I love this cover so much more. And I'm really excited to replace the mass market paperback with that. Then she also sent me a replacement for needful things now I do not like this mass market at all it's worn it's beat up the cover is just ick to me so she sent me this as the replacement I am in love with this one and I can't wait to put it on my shelves I have other books in the same sort of font and edition so it's gonna look really great next to them and then she sent me one and she prefaced it by saying this doesn't have a dust jacket. I'll understand if you don't want to keep it, just pass it on. Um, but that was Everything's Eventual by Stephen King. I will probably keep this for the time being and just do my reread of it in this size um, and then figure out what I'm going to do with it. I might give it away once I receive another copy once or receive. Once I go out and buy another copy of it, I'll probably just give it away somewhere. And this last book that she sent me was one that she saw that I marked on my Goodreads that I really wanted to read it. I entered a giveaway for it, um, but she's like, I have it if you want, want it. I didn't particularly enjoy it, but you are more than welcome to it. So I was like, sure, I'll take it off your hands. And that is His Bloody Project by, let's see if I can say this, Gourmet McCray Burnett. I probably just butchered that first name. But I have heard a lot of things about this and I really wanted to read it and to form my own opinion on it and she was kind enough to send it to me. So Lisa, thank you so much. I was really touched by your generosity and I am glad to call you my friend here on BookTube. Anyway, that wraps up all of my haul stuff for the month of October. Hopefully November, I really won't be hauling very much. I'm going to be very busy with reading obviously but like holiday prep and all that sort of thing so i don't foresee myself going out and buying a ton of books but i will let you know at the end of november if i have bought any anyway i hope you guys have a great week and happy reading